Noah's Miss Chuck B. Boy Reed. I did waste my outfit. Yeah, right. Bullshit. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Y'all in the house? If you in the house, make some noise one more time. Come on. It's rainy outside, but still, you know, we off today, right? It's the weekend. Who got work tomorrow? Anybody got work tomorrow? Yeah. Good, good, good. Some of y'all, a lot of you niggas look like y'all got jobs, but that's cool. That's cool. Who work for the, who, who got a white supervisor? If you got a white supervisor, make some noise. Good for y'all, good for y'all. If you got a nigga supervisor, make some noise. I feel sorry for you, motherfucker. I really do. I really do. I rebel. I rather have a white. I rather work for the white man than work for the black man. Cause niggas ain't shit, y'all. <laughs> Real talk. At least white people let you call in sick. You know they let you call in sick. All you gotta do is just just give them an excuse. You know what I'm saying? That they don't understand. That they can't relate to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just, just call in and say, hey, look, man, I can't make it in. I, I got Negroitis, man. I ain't gonna make it in. <laughs> they cool. They'll let you, you know, they be like, well, just come in now. <laughs> niggas, niggas are all together different. Niggas don't give a fuck about your situation. They don't care about nothing. They want your ass in. You can have death in the family. They don't give a fuck. You call in, hey, look, man, I ain't gonna make it in today, man. Shit, they found my brother dead this morning. Nigga be like, well, shit. I mean, I'm sorry to hear that and shit, but uh, we busy in a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas don't give a fuck. I'm gonna get my shit off. I'm gonna get up here and get my shit off before these white people start getting drunk. We in Portland, and drunk white people in Portland is the scariest shit in the world. <laughs> Real talk. Cause they turn into dirt devils and shit. They dirt each other and shit. Fuck that. If, I'm telling you something. If a white dude ever get drunk and say, hold my beer, it's on. Watch out, cause it's on. That's when they start dirting each other and shit. They look at, they look at their friend like, dude. Fucking dare me to go in the middle of fucking Dixie Highway and just lay down for like 15 minutes, dude. You fucking dare me, dude. Dude, like, his friend, like, dude, I fucking dare you. Like, hold my beer. Like, oh, shit. Then boy got doing one better, though. You know, like, dude, you dare me to fucking bungee jump with a bungee cord that's too fucking long? You fucking dare me, dude. Like, dude, I don't go fucking dare you. A whole like fucking beard in. That's a high people talk with it. But then they go too far, you know. They go too far out the wild. You're like, dude, you dare me to go call that big black guy a fucking nigger? Fucking dare me. <laughs> and his friend like, no, dude, I don't dare you to do that. Dude. Come back so well, the motherfucker. What the fuck? What's wrong with that black guy? What the fuck is his deal? The white dudes always don't know what your deal is. What's your deal, dude? Then they make up. They, you ever argue with a white dude? And they call you some shit you ain't never been called before. White people will make up some shit on, on out of nowhere, an insult you ain't never heard before. Out of nowhere, hey, fuck nerds! What is your fucking deal? <laughs> fuck nuts! The fuck is some fuck nuts? <laughs> <laughs> no, they cool. They y'all better get some white friend. If you ain't got no white friend, you better get you a white friend. Yeah, yeah. The motherfuckers come in handy, boy. They let you. You can borrow money from them. They don't need trick. <laughs> Cause you know you can't buy money from no nigga. <laughs> the white dudes be like, dude, just pay me back whenever you can, dude. Then every time you see it, hey man, I'm gonna get you that bread, man. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> nigga, call your motherfucking phone three o'clock in the morning. Hey, bro, I know you sleeping all, but you said in the morning, right? <laughs> all right, y'all, right, 
okay, I'll be through her, I'll ask you. Got my little three dollars. Told y'all, niggas ain't shit. Niggas ain't shit. Why the couples there? Any couples in the house make some noise? Y'all, boy, y'all must have been together for a long time because y'all was clapping like, uh, this ain't shit. She like, it's a motherfucker here. I'm gonna tell you something now. When you when you're in a relationship, not married and shit, but she ain't heard it. Fuck her. <laughs> she ain't heard it. Fuck her. Matter of fact, you know what? Let me let me see. Let me do this. Put my phone at. I need to take a picture of the crowd. I ain't even got my goddamn phone. That's all right. I got. I had to take a picture of the crowd. That's right. You got it. I had to take a picture of the crowd because this bitch ain't gonna believe that I was at a comedy show. A skirt of black women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can shake your head, bro. That's a black woman next to you. We skirt. We skirt. She'll text you. A black woman will text her man some crazy shit. And 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 you know how the, uh, the, the emojis got the smile, the frown face, and the crying and all that. They emoji be a, a black woman with an attitude like this. <laughs> she takes you, she takes you some shit. Where the fuck you at? It's six fifteen. You got off at six o'clock. Where the fuck you at? And you get tough, cause you you know on the other side of that text, you a bad motherfucker on the other side of that text. <laughs> yeah, you a bad motherfucker. You be like, oh, first of all, bitch. <laughs> what you wrote, mother. <laughs> but you said, I'm on my way home right now. Bro. again on the other side of that text. Hold up, first of all, bitch, I've been to work all motherfucking day. You've been sitting on your ass all motherfucking day. You could have went and got your own self something. Bitch, you should have cooked for me and had some shit ready for me when I get here. That's what you wrote. <laughs> but you said, what you want? <laughs> you scared motherfucker. Plus you gotta deal with jealousy, y'all. You gotta deal with jealousy. For real. All the couples in the house. If, if y'all know, I know y'all ain't gonna admit it, but I'm gonna ask anyway. All the couples in the house, if you with your if you with somebody and they jealous, make some noise. Woo! How you go? That's right. Men and women, they jealous. But let me tell you something about jealousy though. If he or she is not jealous, then that motherfucker don't love you. I know it sounds crazy, but if she ain't jealous, she don't love you. If he ain't jealous, he don't love you. Now, there's two different types of jealousies. The men, they jealous in one way, women are jealous in the other. I'm going to talk about the men first. Let's go and get us out the way, fellas. <laughs> now, men got that paranoid jealousy. You know, that paranoid type of jealousy. You know, uh, that shit, that old, that old, uh, you know, like in the club and shit, like ladies, y'all been in the club with a jealous, your jealous ass boyfriend, he can't enjoy himself, because he think everybody in the club want to fuck his girl. Everybody dancing, having a good time, except for this motherfucker, this motherfucker walk around. <laughs> Why he play that song when he trying to sing you a mess? And fellas, 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 
I don't understand. This is what I don't understand. Why do fellas, why do men ask questions that they can't handle the answer to? Look at how she's shaking her head. <laughs> I'm going to ask that question again. Why do men ask questions they can't handle the answer to? First, here's the number one question. Here's the question they ask. You know you can't handle the answer to this. So, did, did, did you fuck that nigga? <laughs> No, damn well you can't have the answer to that question. <laughs> then you go her, then you go with another question that you can't have the answer to. So, uh, 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 did you suck that nigga's dick? <laughs> Why do you want to know? I mean, we all grown. We all grown. If you grown, you know it. Yeah, of course he did. But here's the killer. Here's the killer. You really can't have the answer to this one. So and tell the truth, bitch. Don't don't be lie. Tell the truth. <laughs> Keep it real. Is that nigga's dick <laughs> in the back? <laughs> like really, you want to know the answer to that? <laughs> now, women, women's jealousy, women's jealousy all together different. Cause women get jealous over little stupid shit, little petty shit, you know. Like, you can be at a, a, a cookout or something with your girl, you know what I'm saying? She getting jealous of your cousins and shit, you know? You got sitting at the table at the cookout or something, you might say some shit like, uh, talking to another female, you know, but it might be your cousin or something, she'll give you past me the pepper, the, the salt and the pepper. And you're in front of your girl? Oh no, she ain't having that shit. You know, she ain't having that shit, get mad, she try to hold it in for a while, but that shit'll just fuck with her. And then she'll be she'll say some shit like, uh, uh, can I holler at you outside for a minute? Can I holler at you for a minute? You tell your friend, I'll be back, baby. Let me see what she talking about. You go out there and I'm like, what's up, baby? I'm just saying, you know how black people, black women with their eyes, I'm just saying, you know, I'm here for you, you did. I'm here for you. I don't know none of these bitches up here. I'm here for you. I'm trying to support you. And you gonna disrespect me like that? Like, what are you talking about? I'm just saying, because I'm here for you, you asking bitches for salt and shit. <laughs> Man, that was some damn salt. <laughs> okay, okay, one more and I'm gone. And plus, women, women, women don't give a fuck about the situation either. They don't, they don't, they don't give a fuck about the situation. And here's what I'm saying, here's what I mean by that. Like, you can have, your ex-girlfriend can die. It's on the news, she dead. And you, you can't, you can't mourn in front of your girl. That's your, that's your ex-girl, you know. Babe, you heard about, you heard about Angela? Yeah, I heard about, I mean, we all gotta go someday. <laughs> we can't stay here, fam. <laughs> then she be like, I'm gonna go to the funeral real quick. You wanna go to the funeral? Now she ain't going to the funeral to support you. She going to the funeral because she want to see how you going to react to the situation. Everybody crying and shit self for her. She looking at you like... Why your, why your eyes getting all watery, motherfucker? You mourning this bitch. You know what? Since you mourning this bitch like that, won't you go on and jump in the casket and get And y'all both can live happily ever after. B-Boy Reed, y'all. Thank y'all.